Saving the Great Lakes is the cover story for the December issue of National Geographic. That's why ABC7 partnered with Nat Geo for our special series, So Great, So Fragile. Over the course of several weeks, we will break down some of the challenges facing this precious natural resource. And meteorologist Cheryl Scott is leading our coverage. Walking along the St. Joseph River in Indiana, just one of hundreds that flow into the Great Lakes, Notre Dame Associate Professor Alan Hamlet mapped out projections and explained why the relationship between climate change and extremes may be one of the most difficult things to accurately quantify. What the projections say is that we will see increasing extreme events here in the Midwest, extreme thunderstorms, uh, extreme river flooding, and also heat and humidity are all significant concerns. So, for example, if we see the high-end scenario, 12 degrees Fahrenheit by the 2080s, it's projected that South Bend and areas around Chicago as well will see on average 60 days per year with temperatures above 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And currently we have about three. These are the changes Chicago could see over the next 50 years if climate challenges aren't addressed. But seeing into our future is still a difficult concept to grasp. One of the things I think that will convince people also is just as it happens around them. I mean, here we are today uh, in September-like conditions. I don't, you know, I'm not normally in my shirt sleeves in the first week of November. And extreme storms, the, those kinds of impacts have a big effect on people's lives. And if those become more and more frequent, people will begin to accept the reality uh, that things are changing. Eye-opening projections. Yeah. Our weather is ever-changing here, but intensity and frequency of extreme events looks to increase in the coming years. Rob, Judy? Yeah, some incredible pictures, too, in that piece. And Cheryl, of course, as a meteorologist, you're tracking the weather for us every day. But anything surprising to you while working on this special? Well, climate and weather are interconnected. What's eye-opening is the long-range forecast of what could happen if our planet continues to warm at an accelerated rate. But there is a lot that can be done in the coming years to offset that cost. This series will highlight what's being done to help protect our city and the Great Lakes. So much more information in the story that you can stream on our app. Judy, Rob. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.